Hi everyone, it's Krista, the Crafty Kitty, and I'm here to share with you a thrift store haul. It's kind of collective, so let's get into it. There's various stores I went to. Um, I did find some really cool things. Uh, some of it is from when the Sunday that I met uh, Anne from Anne Makes, and I picked up a few things at the Valley Village with her. So I'll show you a few things that I got from uh, St. Vincent's, and this is one of them. It says, Love makes our house a home. It was $2.95. I really like it and uh, I like all different types of um, pictures and stuff. So all the pictures I show you, they end up on my walls all the time. So um, I really like to have different pictures on display. I know they might not all go together, but to me, I like the look and I like to watch. I like to see them all together. Uh, the other thing I found was another cloche. For $2.50 uh, because I broke one and I'm pretty sure this will fit the piece that I want to put it on I think yep See? it's my base here really nicely so and it has a low profile top which is really nice so I'm happy that I found that put that over there and for $2.50 can't pass that up um, the other thing I found were from the St. Vincent's were these awesome dishes. If you the old back the back the old the back says old in his series genuine hand engraving acid and detergent proof uh, stoneware. So they were dollar fifty. I only found three, but uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen these in other thrift stores. So I'll be checking those out to see see if I can find ones that are similar. If not. I have some uh, ones that are similar to this, which are have the brown background. So I was thinking, maybe I could mix and match them for a tablescape because they're within the same pattern. So I think they would look awesome. Uh, this my daughter showed me, which was so cute, Frankenstein. And I know my children are um, a lot older, but we really like these kind of books. And I mean, they're probably not children anymore. They're more like young adults so, but the reason we like these kind of books like even for not to read to one another obviously but it has to do with the graphics that are in here they are so cool and I mean it's just really really you can't get over them so this was a dollar ninety nine and really worth the the, um, the price not sure what the original price was. Uh, 18, it was originally $18.50 in Canada. And I got it for $1.99. Very cute. Crankenstein. If you like children's books, be sure when you go to thrift stores to check out the children's section. Because you can always find really nice books to uh, to read yourself if, you're, if you like kids' books. Um, I'll show you these. They are, I believe, just hanging decor. But it's so cool. You think you can make a garland or use these in actually in a pocket letter and stuff. So I got strawberries. Um, I just think these are supposed to be a shape. They could be pizza slices if you have to add stuff onto them, which I thought was cute. I think they're just shapes though because these are just ovals eh, or maybe they could be grapes whichever your imagination takes you to and i got some peaches i got some pears apples oranges Ooh, and <laughs> i don't know if you saw that but i just had a bunch of strawberries flying through the air <laughs> oh i guess these are just shapes they're circles Oh, these are cool. I got grapes, uh, rectangles, squares, and diamonds. So those are pretty cool. I'll have to go pick that other strawberry up from over there. Um, I like these. I think they're neat. You can always do something with them, or you can throw them into, use them in pocket letters or as garland um, for a DIY, which I thought was cute. Um, the other thing I picked up were these loom weave, or what are they called? 
Um, they're just little hoops. And they have two inside, like one to hold it and one to bring around. Um, I don't use those. I wouldn't use those for these. These are for like a DIY. I was thinking they would work really well to make like a farmhouse kind of a look on them. And I got the bigger one and the littler one. And they were only, I think this one was like 30 cents and this one was like 50 cents. So I do have something in mind for this. Then I found this, which was a dollar. And all it is is some picks with uh, oranges on them. This pick is just a flower, just a foam leaf. Uh, one more pick with an orange on it. And then some more leaves. Um, I think those would be cool to incorporate in a jar as a display, as a decoration. Could even go into a wreath if I feel like it, but we shall see. I also found this for 25 cents. That came from a church, um, church uh, thrift store. I found this ribbon. It's simply natural. I'm not quite sure what it's made of. Just fibers. And it was from Carlton Cards, which is a uh, sort of like a Hallmark store here in Canada. And if you can believe it, these were, this little thing was like $4. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this. I could make ribbons out of it. I did also find these come from the Dollarama and they're just red leaves, red and orange leaves. And they were 25 cents. And I found some really nice glitter for 50 cents. It's like, uh, I don't know. I like to call it a mermaid uh, green kind of a teal color um, I also got a bunch of little uh, this came from the Salvation Army and these little things all three of them were 99 cents together and then I found this awesome basket well not basket um, what is it planter this was 99 cents and it is made out of birch bark and it actually is birch bark so for 99 cents I thought that's awesome and I'm going to be using this in um, a, my fall decoration as well as um, a challenge I'm doing with uh, Tracy the holiday cookie diva uh, a cozy corner coming up I think it's called a cozy I can't remember what the name of the challenges I'm actually participating in quite a few of them and I have my own up as well for the hocus pocus uh, three-part challenge if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below so you can check it out. And I got from the Value Village these. They are from the Dollarama. This was only a dollar ninety nine. I think it was a dollar ninety nine for all three. And I got Beware, Creepy, and Spooky. Um, I don't plan on leaving them on these things. I'm thinking of turning them into a pick sign. So just pull them off and glue them onto one of those uh, things that go in, inside the garden. So have that. This was a pretty cool find. It was $3.99. But what's in here is all these cute little um, flowers. And I'm not sure if they have to all have the battery changed, I believe. So I got the yellow the pink green and blue so there's two of all the other colors uh, but only one blue which is not is okay with me but I mean they're little lights I'll just change the batteries out and see how to how they work if they work hopefully they do uh, I guess they're not all the same flowers either so the pink ones, even though they're, I guess they're not the same, not doubles, but I like them. I think they're pretty cool. I'm not sure where they come from. So, um, not sure. Doesn't have anything on the bottom. Oopsie. <laughs> so yeah, these are pretty cool. I think they'll be nice outside and I found another wooden um, weaver so 
I have two giant ones like these. I think I've showed them in other videos. I do have a DIY in mind for that as well. Unfortunately, I put them downstairs in the abyss and I can't figure out where in the abyss, the abyss they are. So I have to go downstairs, look, look for them and then do my DIY with them if I ever find them. So that'll have to be my challenge for maybe the winter is to try and get that craft room of mine back to looking like a craft room. So I got this. This is a bag of stuff that was hanging on the wall from uh, Value Village. And it, what caught my eye was this guy, this cute pumpkin. And this is just Raffi up here. And he's made out of just like Raffi as well. I'm not sure if he's homemade or if he comes from a store, but I liked it. So I picked him up. The other thing that was in here was a pick with a gourd on it. A couple of Halloween stuff in here. I'm not sure if I'll keep this or just re-donate it because I have tons of the spider web stuff. And the other thing that was in here were these cute little copper. Um, they are metal. Uh, where did they come from? doesn't say but so I got two there was two of these in there and I think they're really cute so put a little light inside there and away you go and then I have one more big bag from the Dollarama that was hanging on the wall and it was also only $3.99 Decorative gauze. Well, this comes from the Dollarama. It was all put in one thing. So it's like a mesh that hangs over the window. And again, there's more of the spider webs. Maybe I'll just use these at work to decorate a few things. Uh, this one is spider web with four spiders. I'm not sure if it's the same type and I'm not sure where this comes from. If it's like the white kind. Hard to say. The bag's not open. So. Let's see what I saw were these as well. Which I can use. <laughs> Angry Birds. I don't know why those would be in with the Halloween, but okay. More skeleton ones. Um. This is also something that was in there, and I guess this came from the Target dollar spot when we had one. Somebody must have bought them. They're just haunted house party, uh, deadly fun invitations. But I don't know. We'll use them as invitation. I might use them as something else. And the other thing they had in there were two, and these come from the Dollarama. So these match the the napkins, which is pretty good. So I usually bring cupcakes to work on Halloween for my coworkers. So. Those will be good to use when I do that that day. Uh, we're not finished. I found this cute little fern. It's originally from Ikea. So I'm thinking this was probably about $6.99. And I got it for $1.50. I also found this cute little book. It's one of the hidden books in here. I think it's really nice and pretty the way it is. It was only $0.95. Cents. I don't know if I'll leave it that way or if I'll turn it into something else. One of my awesome finds was this book. And it's wood. And this is what it looks like. It has velvet on the inside. And this was $3.50. And I've seen these ones at Michael's and they were like $35 or something like that. I'm pretty sure was how much they were. So this one I might use. Just leave it the way it is and use it as a as a decoration for Halloween in a light library and the last thing I found was this cute little picture I know we'll go from Halloween to this nice bright sunny picture so I don't know I really like it and I think it'll look nice in between the two pictures that I have in my living room on the wall and I really enjoy this I hope you like the video 
I don't have to rush away like I did on my last video because I knew people were coming in my house and my dogs would go ballistic barking. There's no stopping them when somebody comes in the house. So I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, if you haven't seen my collab video, please check our not a collab challenge video. Then please uh, hit the link in the description box. Go check it out. And if you'd like to have somewhat fun with me, then just leave the comment in the on that video and let me know. So I hope you all are having a happy day, happy crafty day, crafty day and bye-bye. Let's all get crafty.